Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Nick Jantz. I'm the proud principal here at Beth Page High School. Uh, it might look a little familiar to you. I was uh, the assistant principal down at JFK Middle School when your child entered sixth grade. So congratulations. They made it. They made it. Um, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to see them and to, to get them up here. Uh, a lot of familiar faces and, and names. So uh, I'm excited uh, to, for them to start their high school careers. Um, obviously, we like to do this in person. We had a scheduled date back in March, and uh, due to the pandemic, unfortunately, we uh, we could not uh, make that happen. So uh, I think this is probably the next best thing, just to give you a nice overview of Bethpage High School and what makes it a such such a special place. And um, um, we also plan on meeting again in August. We'll do a student orientation, and we'll do a parent orientation that night. So um, I'll, I'll share those details at the end of this, this program here. Uh, I just plan on taking you through um just a couple highlights and what your child should expect uh in this you'll also meet um mr kevin healy uh and mr ralph toko the assistant principals along with mr tom kenny who you might be familiar with already from the middle school and elementary school he is the director of guidance so um you'll get to meet those people as well so let's get started uh last year beth page high school was uh awarded the national blue ribbon uh, by the U.S. Department of Education. This is the highest award in the land. This is only given to the top schools in the nation. I believe there are 32,000 high schools in the country and uh, just a few hundred a year earn this distinction. So something we're very, very proud of uh, as a school, as a district, and uh, hopefully the community as well. Myself, uh, the superintendent of schools, Mr. David Schneider, and the assistant superintendent, Mr. Michael Spence, went down to Washington, D.C. in November 2019 with our teacher representative, Miss Wendy Way, who teaches social studies at the high school, to receive this award from the U.S. Department of Education and uh, the U.S. Department um, Secretary of Education. So this was really, really a special time for us. And uh, again, something we're very, very proud of. <clears throat> On top of that, uh, Beth Page High School is among New York's and USA's best, like I mentioned. This year, again, we were awarded um, or recognized as a New York State Reward School, and we are currently ranked in the top 1% in both New York State and the U.S. Uh, by various national publications. As you can see, here are some of the schools that were awarded this year for being a reward school. We're in great company here. Uh, love seeing Beth Page uh, among those other names. Here are some of the class of 2019 statistics. Um, our graduation rate last year was 99%. It uh, fluctuates probably between 98, 99, and 100% each year. Uh, I am very lucky, very lucky to work with an amazing staff and really more importantly, an amazing group of kids, uh, dedicated kids and families that, that really understand and value uh, the education that um, we provide here. So that graduation rate is something that we were, uh, we're very proud of every year and uh, something that obviously the U.S. Uh, Department of Education took notice of. 74% um, of our students last year received an advanced Regents Diploma, um, which is an awesome number, and 96.1% went on to college. 2% went on to the military, and another 2% entered the workforce. So another statistic we're very proud of. Uh, last year as well, 95.5% of our students received a regular Regents Diploma. So there's another awesome statistic. And back in 1996, that was around 50% 50, 50 or so. So this is uh, really a stark improvement. And um, again, another thing we're proud of. Uh, when we build our courses, we, we often look at what our students are um, going to college for. What degrees are they trying to get? And after looking at that, we then try to build courses on uh, their interests to give them a taste of um, what college uh, and career can provide. So our business department in, over the past couple of years has exploded uh, in popularity and classes. We have a wonderful, wonderful faculty in the business department. Uh, we've added business management, accounting, personal finance, principles of marketing, and virtual enterprise, which is really a real life authentic shark tank uh class uh the students really act as uh inventors and ceos and marketers um, and they really uh participate in real world um trade shows and, and things like that um 
with other schools across Long Island and, and, and the state and the country. So it really is an awesome, awesome class. Uh, science is another big area as far as what students are earning degrees in in college later on. We've added forensics, engineering, environmental science, research. We have an excellent research program. And a couple of years ago, we added a health science and careers, which is a nice overview about what um, students can, can do out in the field in, in science. Um, sometimes they think they have to be a scientist or a doctor. This really covers a nice um, wide scope of other careers. It is a hands-on class as well. We had um, a physician's assistant from Northwell Health join us last year, and he actually had the students practicing stitches using a chicken breast. So it was a pretty cool thing to see. Um, and again, education. Uh, a lot of our students do go on to be teachers, which is awesome. And uh, this year we are introducing our careers in education course, which will cover um, the profession, the theory behind it, and give some real world experiences. So another thing we're very, very excited about here next year. My main message here would be to take advantage. Just like JFK Middle School, the high school is even amplified even further with the offerings that we have. This is really a 24-7 show over here. You can walk in on a Saturday morning and hear saws going in the robotics lab, uh, and you could be here at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday and see a team practicing. So it really is an awesome place. Really, really push your students to get out of their comfort zone to um, – uh, really expand and, and learn about um, uh, their interests and, and really to really grow. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna hand this off to Mr. Kevin Healy, who will be your child's assistant principal throughout their high school careers. Uh, Kevin Healy has been here for over 20 years. He is a local institution. He knows uh, from soup to nuts what it takes a struggling high schooler to an honors high schooler through the program and to not only succeed, but also succeed on the next level. So I'll hand it off to Mr. Healy at this point. Good evening. My name is Mr. Healy and I'm one of the assistant principals at Beth Page High School. I will be the assistant principal who'll be working with the incoming ninth grade class. That is the class of 2024. I'm very happy to welcome our incoming ninth graders to Beth Page High School. This evening, I am briefly going to speak to you about the transition of moving from middle school to high school. The slide in front of you offers some tips to be successful at Beth Page High School. Please note that first period starts at 7.32 a.m. That is approximately 45 minutes earlier than what you were used to at JFK. It is important that you are getting to school on time from the very first day in September. In high school, you'll be earning credits for courses required for graduation. There is an attendance policy at the high school. For a full year course, you cannot be absent more than 20 times, and for a half year course, no more than 10 times. Attendance is essential in order to be able to earn the credit that you need for the courses you are taking. This policy is also different from the middle school, and please note that you must take it very seriously. In general, you may find that high school gives you a greater sense of freedom, but please remember that freedom comes with responsibility, and as you are now growing up, you become more responsible for your actions. The basic goal for every high school student is to graduate and earn their diploma. But we believe here at Beth Page High School, you will have the support necessary to maximize your potential as a student and as an individual. Please note that you are leaving JFK as boys and girls, and you are entering Beth Page High School now as young men and young women. High school will bring you many successes and possibly some tough times as well. We are here to help you develop the sense of grit necessary to get you through any challenging times you may face. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ralph Toko. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Beth Page High School. Um, next year, I'll be responsible for the 10th and 12th grade students. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, your student's schedule as a ninth grader. 
up on the screen right now is a typical ninth grade schedule. Um, you should have received in March a list of the courses that your child will be um, taking next year at Bethpage High School. In January, myself and Mr. Kenny went down to visit with all the current eighth graders and talked to them about the choices that they can make as an incoming ninth grader. Students were able to pick their physical education course, which was general regular phys ed or fitness and conditioning. They could also pick art, um, general uh, music, chorus, band, or orchestra. Um, uh, so this list right here is a common eighth grade schedule, and they also pick a uh, language, which will continue on from middle school. This is not in the actual periods, but this is what it will look like um, for, for a student. You will also get a letter um, sometime early June listing the courses that your child is scheduled to take. Please review that letter with your child. If there's any questions about a course, if you believe there is a mistake, your child should have been in an honors class or an extended class or regular class, please contact your child's guidance counselor so that we can make those changes. As you go through your high school career, we have many AP or, uh, courses that the children can take. Some of your children may be in uh, English honors or pre-AP social studies going into ninth grade. In 10th grade, students can take AP World and AP Bio. That's really the first college level course that is available to students at Bethpage High School. And as you see on this list here, as you go into 11th and 12th grade, there are many more AP courses that students are eligible to take depending on their particular interests. Um, you can see over the course of the years uh, from 2003 to 2020, the number of students uh, taking AP exams has grown exponentially. Uh, we had about 350 students take 919 exams this year. Uh, due to the pandemic, most of the all of the exams were given online. As you can see, even though we've increased the number of students, um, our overall average on the scores, which are scored on a uh, scale of one to five, has actually gone up and uh, we've beaten the state and global average um, for all of our courses. If besides um, AP courses, as you go into 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, we offer a variety of options for kids to take um, whether it be business, we have a, our business program has grown um, within the last two years. We offer a wide variety of business uh, programs. We also have um, ex extensive uh, electives offered in art, as well as um, the theater uh, programs. And we have um, computer programming courses, um, dual enrollment courses, if you don't want to take AP, where you can get college credit through CW Post, Farmingdale, um, college, um, Malloy, things of that nature. There are several levels of courses that you could take. We have the general regions track, okay? We have honors courses, which some of your students may be in, in in ninth grade. Then as you go into 10th and 11th grade, we begin to offer college level courses where students in high school can actually get college credit. So you, we've had kids graduate um, Bethpage High School with um, you know anywhere from three to 18 credits. So you almost enter college um, as a sophomore. The big thing when, when picking courses is Choose what's best for your child, not what people are talking about, you know, on the, on the soccer field and feel you have to be in that course because everyone else is doing it. And if your student is stronger in math or science, maybe those are the college level courses that they need to be in or AP courses that they need to be in. If they're stronger in the, um, the you know, literature and uh, humanities, maybe they want to be in or need to be in the English and social studies courses. But that's what's important. You know, uh, we allow kids to choose if they have generally good grades um, to be into the AP courses to challenge them because eventually they're going to be in college anyway. But it's important that you choose what is best for your child, not what everybody else is doing. That's that's the big thing as we go through this. And as we go through the scheduling process, that starts every year um, in January and your kids are, you know, and you, the parents are a part of that. I'm going to turn this over now to Mr. Kenny, the guidance director. Hello, my name is Tom Kenny. I'm the director of guidance at Beth Page Schools. I wish that we could be having this in person. I look forward to meeting with all of you in the future. The guidance department um, in Beth Page High School has four counselors separated alphabetically to support your students. Um, in addition, there are two psychologists, a social worker, and support staff to help guide your students through the four years of high school. 
Um, there are many different resources that are available to your children and to you as you go through your four years at Beth Page. Um, we have an academic center, which is very similar to your help hubs. Um, there is a certified teacher in there all day for the four major academic subjects. There are various web-based learning resources that your students will utilize throughout, um, various night meetings. Uh, make sure you're on our listserv, and the website is updated daily. As we go through the graduation requirements for your students, all students are required to take four years of social studies and English, three of math and science, and one world language. Many of your students have already taken a math, a science, and a language at the middle school. Whether they did or not, we encourage all students to continue the academic programs through graduation because these are just minimum standards. Most of our students will meet 22 to 30 credits before they graduate. The New York State only says that you need 22 to graduate. So we are not about the minimum. We're about preparing your students for future success. 96% um, of our students will receive at least a Regents Diploma. Um, an advanced Regents Diploma requires eight exams rather than the minimum of five. And again, these are just minimums. These go with the coursework. Our students are tremendously successful. If they need extra support and remediation, we will provide it. Your counselors will be in touch with you and your children. We will utilize the resources of the um, academic center and extra help program for you to get the support that you need. We also have extended courses in certain areas that will help your students um, succeed and build on, build on the foundations already provided by JFK. So these foundations, what we want the students to do is um, demonstrate the ability to succeed at a higher level, improve writing skills and problem solving techniques, one of the very important um, items that we want to help focus on and uh, create is developing study habits. These study habits will prove positive when they take rigorous courses as they get older. Some students right now may not have had to study to maintain good grades. We will see that as the work becomes more in independent and rigorous, that students will have more difficulty in this area and will need to provide more structured, regimented study environment and overall better study habits. Um, there are many ways that um, the courses here at the high school will translate to college credit if they choose to do that. In ninth grade and even eighth grade, students are working on um, developing their resume and their transcript. Math and English and foreign language classes at the middle school taking for high school credit will go on a student's transcript and count towards their overall GPA. And every class that a student takes in ninth grade will count towards their GPA. We will provide numerous opportunities for students at Barry Tech, GC Tech, and Long Island High School of the Arts. This is what we will call our vocational programs. Um, there are six different areas that they can choose from. In those six areas, there will be over 43 different programs that they will be able to choose from as well um, in each of those areas. Students um, can even log hours as a pilot in the aviation program. They can do carpentry technology, um, medical areas such as personal fitness and nursing and medical assisting. So there is something for everyone if that's where their interest lies. We will help do that. Students will have the opportunity to take these courses when they are juniors and seniors. The application process will begin in January of 10th grade. Students will need to have good academic and attendance records in order to be accepted into these programs. We're going to ask that students begin to develop their resume from day one. It's not that we're asking them for, to develop their resume, <clears throat> but everything they do in high school will go on their resume. Clubs, organizations, sports, volunteerism, community service. It could be work that they're doing in their local communities or their church or their yeshiva. Um, anything 
that the students um, do will count and go on their resume. That will also include intern experiences and summer experiences. It goes without saying that we will encourage students to take leadership roles in the activities that they're um, working in any chance they get. If your student wishes to play Division I or II sports, they must meet the NCAA eligibility requirements. Almost all of our courses at Bethpage High School are NCAA approved. In the course of study guide that is provided online and was given to your student in January when Mr. Toko and myself visited them and did a presentation on scheduling with Ms. Lundberg, they received the study guide. Every course in the district is indicated whether it is NCA approved or not. When competing in Division I or II sports, a student must have 16 core credits, 10 of which must be completed by the end of their junior year. This is not an issue for our students, um, but it is something that we need to make sure we discuss because there is a GPA requirement that is part of the component. Again, we will work on this individually as we do your scheduling for 10th grade and any questions that you have, please ask at any time. And I will turn it over to Mr. Jantz. Thank you. Okay, I'm back here to wrap up the program. Um, really the best recipe for success here in, in Bethpage High School, exactly the same as JFK Middle School and, and the elementary schools is the strong partnership that we have here between home and school. Um, this is vital to our success. It's vital to your child's success. And I think this is really the main ingredient as to why Bethpage schools are so successful. We all have the same interest. And that interest is to give your child an excellent experience, get them through high school and uh, make them be successful on the next step. So uh, this to me is what, what sets Bethpage apart from other school districts and other towns. And this is something that we definitely, definitely um, appreciate up here at the high school. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us. As you can see on the screen, that's our email addresses. The high school main office is also on the bottom. Uh, we are in at this time, so please email us, give us a call, we'll definitely get back to you. Um, and really, and no, no question is, is uh, too small or, or too silly. Uh, in addition, like I spoke about, uh, we will be holding a student and parent orientation on August 27th. That is uh, a couple months away. Um, students will be at nine o'clock in the morning and parents will be at seven o'clock at night. Uh, we will push out a letter and further details, but we'll really get into more of the nitty gritty about high school and the schedule and, and really what to expect, even uh, on the drop off line and how to drop off uh, your child and, and things like that. So I hope to see you there with a um, full auditorium and uh, not behind a computer screen. So I hope everyone's doing well out there and I uh, look forward to having your child come up here and start their uh, Beth Page High School career. Take care. Thank you.